Hello and welcome back to Whetstone's how-to video series. In this video, I will go over how to generate custom data sets. Custom MD5 data sets use a comma-separated value file. The header of this file must contain MD5 and a name separated by a comma. Other fields are optional but will not display in Gargoyle reports. To get started, you'll need to open up Gargoyle and then either type in Control G or click the Tools drop down box on the top left hand side and select Generate Custom Dataset File. This will open a pop up window to select a directory that you want to create a custom dataset file for. Navigate to that directory and then click Next to generate the custom dataset file. The dataset file will contain information on all files inside the parent directory and any other subdirectories, including archives. At the bottom of the Gargoyle screen, you should see that the custom dataset file is being processed. Once this is complete, you will be prompted to add a location to save the custom file. The location will default to the Gargoyle installation directory, which has a custom datasets folder. You can either select this or choose another location to save your file. To import a custom MD5 hash file, select one of these buttons and then select Custom Dataset section. Then browse to the custom dataset file. Please note, a maximum of two custom datasets can be used at one time. Make sure that you have the custom dataset scan option selected. Please note, custom datasets may not be used in conjunction with factory datasets or whetstone supplied supplementary datasets, and some information may not be displayed in the report. If you have any questions, contact your sales representative or email us at sales at whetstonetech.com.